What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I've got an unboxing and review of the brand new Air Jordan 4 Premium Snakeskin. So starting things off, the retail price on this pair of shoes, as you probably know, is $400. <laughs> which, I mean, honestly, for the same price you could probably get a pair of Chicago 1's from last year, which I actually really prefer to these. So um, that's what I would spend my money on, and that's actually why I got some pretty serious buyer's remorse about these and ended up selling them. So, this is an unboxing. There won't be any on-feet reviews, just because not my shoes anymore. So starting off with the box, you've got this nice sort of cream gray box with the white Jumpman and the white flight logo. Around the outside, you've got this really nice like snakeskin texture with like gloss and mattes. It actually looks pretty nice. And finally, you've got the size tag, size 9 as usual and a suggested retail price of 400 bones, which is, that's, that's crazy. It's crazy, it is. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Ooh. So, first thing you see when you open the box, there's this nice card and a dust bag. And the card says, Air Jordan 4 Premium. The Air Jordan 4 is one of the most iconic silhouettes in the history of sneakers. This season, Jordan Brand celebrates this model by delivering premium materials and hardware that take the Air Jordan 4 to another level. This instant classic will leave you saying, it's gotta be the shoes. I don't know about that, that's a bit much, but whatever. You've got this really nice white dust bag with metal aglets there, and then I guess a gray, is that gray or black? Jumpman on it. So, and let's put that off to the side. So next up is the paper. It's got this snakeskin sort of embossed texture on it, which is kind of cool. It looks like some of the uh, panels have been punched out though. So whatever. And here they are. The Air Jordan 4 Premium Snakeskin. So I saw a picture of these, I don't know, maybe end of last year, and I thought they looked really cool. But, you know, things change. I don't like them as much as I once did. Seeing them in person, they actually look better than I thought they were going to look. But hey, not really my taste. So starting off, you've got this faux snakeskin upper, which is pretty obviously fake, <laughs> to be honest, but it's not bad. What's funny with the snakeskin is that this sort of like glossy embossed snakeskin texture doesn't actually line up with the, uh, the printed snakeskin texture underneath, and that sort of gives it away that it's not real. You've got this really nice leather around the toe cap and also on the tongue. You've got these nice metal accents here, and you've got one on the back as well. You've got that cream jump man. The lining isn't the usual Air Jordan 4 leather, it's this sort of softer kind of like, not tumbled, but just smoother leather than what's on the outside. It's got Air Jordan debossed into the tongue. You've got the embossed Jordan logo there on the front of the tongue. They're not using the usual Air Jordan 4 netting. They're actually using this leather with these sort of square punch outs, which I actually think is really, really clean. They did the same sort of thing with the uh, with the remastered Air Jordan 4s from last year. They had sort of like the white leather with the circular punches, which I thought was nice too. Honestly, anything's better than that pony hair that was on the previous premiums. I think that was trash and I hated it. You've got an all-white midsole with this all-white outsole as well with a cream jump man. I'm not a fan of the all-white outsoles just because they get dirty so fast. I really dig this metal hang tag. That's actually a really nice touch. It's funny that they gave it its own little bag. <laughs> There's one thing that really bugs me about this pair of shoes. Because it's a premium pair and you're spending $400 on it, you shouldn't be getting glue marks. And the thing that's annoying about this pair in particular is that with the white midsole and the white outsole, the glue's yellow, so you really, really see it popping out there. I mean, I expect more from you Nike. These are $400 for these friggin' shoes, and they're not even real snakeskin. And finally, my actual favorite part of the shoe, which isn't even technically part of the shoe, is the extra leather laces that they give you in the box. I think these are dope, and I wish other Jordans would give you these leather laces, because these look great. Overall, this is a pretty okay shoe. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm kind of apathetic towards it. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know if you think this pair of shoes is worth the $400 price tag. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs and all of the forms and social media.